Hi everyone, this is Professor McAllister coming at you from the University of Utah giving you another five minute moment. And today's topic is looking at family functioning really through the lens of problem solving versus stabilization. And the reason why I bring this up is because when I was working in the field for so long, a trend that I saw, which is supported through agency policy practices, protocol, and state laws, is that families have to comply. And that's how they work through case plans. That's how families in the child welfare system meet those different benchmarks, um, whether they're positive UAs, attendance in classes, um, positive parent-child interaction visitations, um, stabilization, getting a place to live. And what happens is, is clients are often loaded up with a case plan that has many requirements. And what always was funny to me, and this might be a little bit of a controversial um, you know, topic when speaking to other professionals, because what was always funny to me, and I kind of shook my head sometimes, was how can anybody be expected to problem solve at the highest level of executive thinking, planning, organizing, getting to appointments, uh, being prepared for the day, when the originating problems is... Uh, are related to child abuse and neglect not being able to provide, right, those needs. And so oftentimes, and I'm not going to generalize, but oftentimes, I guess that is generalizing, um, families in the child welfare system come from or have backgrounds of really challenged issues like barriers, um, drug abuse, substance abuse, inability to meet basic emotional, physical, mental needs, those types of things. Um sex abuse, um, oh God, there's a whole list of different reasons why or factors that, that are considered, you know, with child abuse. So we expect families, parents to start using executive skills immediately when they go into a case plan and now they have to have organization. Now they have to have schedules and planning. They have, well, they didn't demonstrate those things to begin with right? And that's the reason why they're at the attention of your agency. So I encourage you to think about this topic, such as executive skills, problem solving. You know, we have three different brain states that we basically can move through, which is the fight or flight, then the limbic system, which is emotional. And then once we combat that emotional brain state, we can put ourselves into that executive skill problem solving. Now, if somebody has just lost their children to a state agency, where do you think their brain state is going to be? The emotional limbic system, probably the fight or flight system to begin with. So if a parent is in that brain state of fear and anxiety and stress and uncertainty, they're not going to have the ability to problem solve. They're not going to have the ability to be organized and structured and be able to produce a lot, oftentimes be able to produce those things that case plans quite often ding parents for if they can't comply with in a certain period of time. And so I always struggled with that as a caseworker because I didn't know how to help somebody change their brain state because the the circumstances themselves were just so stressful and challenging for parents. And as I became seasoned in my work, I started studying a lot of trauma-informed practices. I started um, really looking at where is that client in their trauma experience? Where can I help them with conversation, with activities? Um, how can I help them as a case manager move to that problem-solving state of being able to take decisions and scheduling and being organized and committed those are all executive skills so i encourage you to think um about those different three brain states uh do a lot of studying with the work around trauma-informed care because that's going to really make you a great professional in the future if you work in child welfare to be able to identify how best to help your client get into that executive skill state thinking so okay i hope you enjoyed the five minute moment here and we'll talk to you again bye